Hi, my name is Cecilia Aguilar and I'm from Sonora, Mexico. Uh, and since 2016, I've been working with the horned lizard species of Sonora. Uh, Sonora with 80 species uh, has the greatest diversity of, of horned lizards of any state in Mexico or the United States. Almost the 50% of the total diversity of, of these uh, species. We have two species living in the northwest of the state, uh, in the Sonoran Desert. These are the Phrynosoma gudei and Phrynosoma macali, uh, and two species more in the nor northeast of the, of the state, living in the grasslands and the Chihuahuan Desert. Uh, these are Phrynosoma cornutum and Phrynosoma modestum, uh, three highlands uh, species in, living in the mountains in the east of the state, uh, in Tons Group, uh, Oak Woodland, and Pine Forest. Uh, these are the Phrynosoma marsi, which is endemic to, to the state of Sonora, uh, Phrynosoma hernandesi, and Phrynosoma orbiculare. And uh, one more species widely distributed throughout the state living in all types of vegetations with the exception of the pine forest and this is the Phrenosoma solare. And today I want to talk uh, to tell you about the threats that these species uh, have in the state and I want to focus a little more uh, on the endemic species, the rock horn lizard, the Phrenosoma uh, ditmarsi. Uh, the first one, and I think it is a threat that is present for all uh, the species around the world, is the habitat loss uh, with the expansion of the cities, agriculture, and livestock farming. And however, also in Sonora, is a mining state. Mining here is very common um, and is threatening all, all the species, especially the Phrenosoma marsi, which is endemic to Sonora. Uh, we have we know uh, 15 no localities for this species. Uh, as you can see, on that more of the 20, uh, 90% uh, of the distribution has a mining project or concession nearby. Uh, last week, a friend from college asked me for help with the identification of a horn lizard, and it was an individual of, of this endemic species, the, the rock horn lizard. Uh, later, he told me that he's working for a mine and they are relocating the animals outside the mining project area. Uh, so if these mining projects are expanded in the future, many known, known population of these species will disappear. And I think we must follow up um, on this issue, uh, collect information and see what can be done for these species. Um, on the other hand, uh, something that is very common uh, in Mexico and here in Sonora is that people find the horny toads in the field and they keep them as pets. Uh, and because uh, these species must eat uh, hundreds of ants per day, uh, these individuals commonly die. Some years ago, I received uh, the grant from the Horn Lizard Conservation Society to work with these species. Uh, as part of this project, uh, a part of this project was about public education. Uh, I was able to visit nine cities in Sonora. Uh, I gave presentation in schools and have some activities with, with the children. Uh, I also conduct surveys uh, to 406 people uh, from the six uh, to 88 years of age. And 12% of these people think that horn lizard have venom. Uh, and I think uh, this is due to, to a myth here in Mexico that says that when horn lizard squirt blood from the eyes, the venom, uh, the blood have, has venom. Uh, and 21% of these people know someone who had a, a horn lizard as a pet. Uh, that's why I think uh, that it's very important to give uh, environmental education in schools so people know, uh, know about these species and conserve them. Uh, something I also want to, to talk about is, are the challenges working with these species here. Um, here in Mexico, almost all the lands are private. Uh, so if you want to work with any species here, uh, you have, probably to ask permission to the landowners. In my case, uh, all the landowners that I have worked with are kind. Uh, 
have been kind uh, with me, but uh, if for some reason one of them doesn't give you permission to work in their in their land, uh, and that is the only place where these species can be found, uh, you you will not be able to work there, even if it's important an important place. Uh, also, many places are of difficult access, uh, especially in the mountains, because the deer roads are often in bad conditions. Uh, you need uh, a four-wheel drive car to reach them, to, to reach these places. Uh, and yeah, I think that's all for this video. Uh, I hope to continue work working with these species and do my best to conserve them. Uh, thank you.